Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use an HDRI to light up your scene. Now if you see that my scene is black, that's because I deleted all my lights. Because we don't need any lights in order to work with HDRI. Because it's only going to affect it more and it's just not going to look right. So without further ado, let's just begin. Now what you want to do is you want to click on this button and then go to lights and drag and drop an HDRI backdrop. And then in the location tab, I'm just going to set mine to the origin, which is 0, 0, 0. Now you might have this texture as um, the starting point and some other values here. But I just tweaked them a little bit because I think the size was at first 150 and look how small this is. I cannot work with this and you can see how awful light it gives. So I just set mine to a thousand and the projection center is how much of the ground is flat and yeah, it's better if I just show you. If you go back a bit you're gonna see that you have this projection center and if you click this button and just drag it down or up you can see that it's adjusting the, the HDRI. But I found that a value of 3000 is just just works fine for most of the scenes. Now I'm not going to use any of this of these that are included in Unreal Engine. I'm just going to use another HDRI and for that you need to import it in your project. You can either do it in a folder and import many of them, but I just imported one for the sake of this video. So after that's imported, just drag and drop it in here, in the cube app slot. And it's gonna automatically place. Maybe you'll have to wait a few seconds for the shaders or something, but after that it's gonna be fine. Now with Lumen, you can see that it's not looking so right. I mean with other HD rise that have more of a overcast um, situation, it works pretty well, but for some reason, these ones that are that are having a sun somewhere in, uh, in the sky like that should directly create shadows for some reason it's it just doesn't work so and I couldn't find any I tried every tweaks for like hours and hours and I couldn't find it but what you can do to solve that issue is just go here again lights and add a directional light now you can adjust it so that it suits with the HDRI bit and you can play around with them and uh, try to match them so that it looks nice. But for using HDRI with uh, path tracing we don't need another directional light because it works just fine. Well, let's check how it looks. Hmm, Not so fine, right? You don't see any, hardly any shadows here. And that's because we need to do some tweaks. And for that you need to click on the HDRI backdrop in your in your outliner or just click on the HDRI itself and it'll bring up the details panel. And in here we need to go to the skylight tab. There's two settings that we need to change. So, and that is the cube map resolution. Now it's set to 128. And Basically, from what I can think of, this is the resolution that the HDRI calculates the light from. So if it's low res, the outcome won't be so great. So the best of both worlds is just to set a value about 124. I found that a value above that does not r make a difference at all. So there's no need for you to go like 4096. And uh, here the sky distance threshold is set to 1 and this one we also need to set about a thousand. Now let's check again. And there we have it. Now we have shadows, proper shadows that are sharp and detailed. Now let me just show you a difference. You can see that this is a cube member solution of uh, 1024. And if we set it to 512, for example, you, 
you can see that it's more blurry and not really detailed. And if we go to 256, same problem, even um, even more soft. And if you don't want the edge to write to be a geometry like like this, a dome, you can also project it. So if you go here back to the HDRI main detail panel, you can click this button for use camera projection and it's just gonna project the HDRI on your backdrop and it's not gonna be a real geometry, but I don't know why you, would you want that, but in some cases, Maybe it doesn't really matter so and you can see that even in this with this method it creates shadows wherever you place your your objects and now let's talk about the lighting distance factor let's see what happens if we set this value to zero no shadows on the ground the default value value of 0 0.5 is already giving some shadows if we set it to point 0.1 hardly any shadows so this is the intensity of the shadows that are cast on the HDRI and I like to set mine about 2 and just so you know the maximum value is 5 but I think that value of 2 is just enough if you want to make your scene pop a bit more from the HDRI you can use that by adjusting the intensity of the HRI. So let me go back to the path tracing mode. This is 1%, this is 2 or 5 and you can see it's getting more brighter everywhere. But I like to leave mine at 1 so that it blends with the scene or maybe maximum of 2. I don't go beyond that but maybe in your case it works so adjust this however you need but these were the settings that you needed to do in order to use an HDRI with path chasing and lumen one thing I forgot to mention is if you want to rotate your HDRI what do you do you simply click on it to select it and then here in the rotation panel on the z-axis you just type a value of what you want basically 35 or 70 or and just so you know the shadows just adjust for that value so if we set it to 200 you can see that the shadows are in this part but I'm just gonna leave my 35 but before you go I just want to thank all of you that subscribed to my channel we finally hit the 1000 subscribers tier and now and if you're new a thousand person chose to subscribe to me because they find my content useful so why not try it out yourself just push that button and I promise I'll make it worth it so let me know in the comments what you thought and what you want to see next or if you have any questions and I'll see you next time have a great day goodbye